The world loses 800,000 people to suicide every year. That's more deaths than war and homicide combined. These are the stats, and it's time we change them. That is part of a chilling new campaign from CAMH, Canada's top mental health hospital. I spoke with one of their doctors on breakfast television about today, World Suicide Prevention Day. So we know that in Canada, we lose someone to suicide, uh, 11 people per day, 11 lives, 11 families, 11 communities. And so it was our goal with Not Suicide, Not Today. Uh, to give people a pledge, something that we can take as an organization, that we can take as a friend or a family member, to say that today is the last day we lose someone to suicide. Dr. Zahir, uh, we are in the middle of a, a world pandemic, and undoubtedly this, this puts this more into the spotlight. Can you talk about how this pandemic is affecting mental health right now? You know, as a suicide researcher and an emergency department psychiatrist, more people have come to me asking about suicide and suicide prevention over the last six months than ever before. I think what the pandemic is showing us is that we're in the midst of a shared trauma. We're all experiencing anxiety, fear, worry for our loved ones, experiences of social isolation. And it's my hope that with the pandemic, we can see that mental health is health. And now is the time to invest uh, as much as we can in each other um, and in our mental health. Dr. Zahir, what, what sort of things should we be looking for in our loved ones, those close to us, uh, signs, signals that we need to potentially step in and, uh, and help? I think we know that one out of every 20 Canadians is experiencing suicidal ideation or suicidal thinking at any given time. If a loved one says to you that they're having suicidal thoughts, I think it's important to remember not to be afraid, um, to connect and to support them through it and to help them get connected with resources. I think when you, people know their loved ones really well, and if you notice a change in your loved one, a change in their sleep, maybe they're isolating themselves more, maybe they're more irritable, maybe uh, they're more cheerful. Anytime you notice a change in a loved one, it is completely reasonable and it's a wonderful thing to reach out and say, I love you, are you okay? How can I help? And I think sometimes we're afraid to open a can of worms or to say the wrong thing, um, but love is never the wrong thing and care is never the wrong thing. For more information on this campaign, you can head to camh.ca. For Breakfast Television, I'm Melanie Ng.